And we're ready for Tim. Tim, flip a clip, take one. My name is Tim Esson, and I'm a lead software engineer and co-founder of Flip a Clip. Flip a Clip is a dynamic animation tool that enables anyone at any skill level to be able to create an engaging animated movie with intuitive tools and through a very supportive community. We initially launched as a phone app. In the end, we realized that the combination of the stylus and large screens were really the optimal way to use our app. The culmination of all of this was that we were able to see an increase in active tablet users in the U.S. by about 54%. We really realized that our drawing experience and particularly our brushes really needed to kind of take a next level. And so we built from the ground up a drawing engine that could take advantage of any input like styluses, take advantage of tilt and orientation and pressure sensitivity, and really optimize it, making sure um, the drawing experience was smooth and, and had low latency. The way that we did this was to do some GPU optimizations using some of the NDK features and really improve the performance of our drawing engine and really get the best experience with low latency and smoothness and just everything really working the best that it could. The Android platform is really powerful and enjoyable to use. You can really take advantage of the latest features and make sure that all of your users will have those enhancements without having to update their OS version you are building the app for your users, so you really should try to make it as enjoyable for them and, and, and stress-free and smooth as possible. All this effort really paid off. Um, we were able to see a lot of improvements. Um, we saw stability um, improve by about 15%. We saw App Store ratings for Chromebooks improve about 15% and tablets 5%. One of the most invaluable tools to really help us improve the performance was the Play Console. The Play Console gives you a lot of different things with crash reports, even seeing comparisons with how other apps that are similar to yours are doing. And so you can really compare and see which areas you're doing really good at and some other areas that you might be needing to improve on. Um, not only that, but we were able to really identify the devices where performance was really lacking and really look at the crash reports and A&R, try to pinpoint what was keeping the drawing from being buttery smooth and, and just working really well. This was just a really great way to be able to improve the overall app. You know, it might sound a little cliche, but really pay attention to what your users are saying. Specifically, pay attention to their reviews and reports and stability metrics. It really is about the users because ultimately, if they're happy, they're going to tell their friends and they're going to come back and organically your app is going to grow.